Sneemaster! Hi everyone, Sneemaster here with a brief update on news for March 2023. First, we have the subscriber updates for March. This month, subscribers are getting weapon attachments. Centurion subscribers get the Tracer Laser Pointer for their gun with an orange beam to make it easy to hit targets with hipfire. Imperator level subscribers get both the orange beam and the green colored beam attachment. Subscribers can go to the store to buy the purple color bright spot flashlight attachment that lights up with a purple circle to be less noticeable. Subscribers for March also get the Freelancer Max as the loaner ship. You can also buy it from the store for $150 with 12 months insurance instead of the usual 6 months. The Freelancer Max is a great mid-sized cargo ship with 120 SCU storage and great weapons. Like other Freelancers though, it needs a complete update. I made a video review on it here, so go ahead and test it out and consider getting it. Next, the biggest news is that patch 318 is finally live, although it's got a ton of bugs that make even logging in difficult. There are lots of other little bugs as well, like the bug that gets you stuck in your seat and you can't get out, bugs preventing you from accessing your inventory or summoning ships, and other issues. CIG has said they are working on a quick 318.1 patch, hopefully for this coming week, as well as some server hotfixes for behind the scenes. Until those roll out though, things are going to be very difficult. I'd hold off a little bit until CIG rolls out fixes, but people have said that the patch runs pretty smoothly aside from those major issues. And of course, doing salvage and cargo gameplay and racing is all pretty fun. Also check your in-game money. Many may not have lost everything from the wipe in 318 that we thought we would, especially if you are picking up envelopes in 317. Now keep in mind, due to persistent entity streaming in 318, you might not get your hangar items back with a character reset if you lose them in-game, like you would with previous patches. CIG is working on the system to get it back separately, but try not to lose your gear until then. I recommend just using only items you can buy in-game for now. There might possibly be a mini wipe for patch 318.1 to fix bugs. You won't lose money, but you might lose some in-game purchased items, so you might just have to buy them again. CIG isn't sure they will wipe it, but if they do, they're working to minimize any losses to players in-game. The next major patch, 319, will be out around the Invictus event in May. 319 will be based on whatever fixes they do in 318, but add some new features too. Aside from the Lorval update and new gameplay features, we will also be getting the RSI Lynx rover. It's the official rover for the RSI Phoenix, so I'm sure many Phoenix owners are eager to finally get it. There is still no word on any specs or images of the Lynx, so it's still a mystery on how it'll work or what it'll look like. But I'm assuming it'll be pretty cool. Aside from the patch news, we also get two ships for sale. First to the Scorpia Centauris. It's a flyable variant for 318 of the regular Scorpius Heavy fighter, but replaces the upper turret with an EMP and quantum jammer that the co-pilot controls. It still has the four main wing guns for the pilot to control, so it's a formidable ship for anyone, but probably works best when paired with regular Scorpius ships in flight. I'll make a video on it soon. The Antares runs for $210 war bond with LTI, or $230 with store credits and only 6 months insurance. Concierge can buy the Antares with LTI and the Tiburon paint for a special $210 war bond. There are also special dual cell packs of the Antares with a regular Scorpius for $400 war bond with LTI, or $440 with store credits. Or get a pack of all non-limited RSI ships together for $1,650 war bond with LTI. That doesn't include ships like the Phoenix, sadly. There are a ton of great paints now for the Scorpius and Antares. The paints work on both ships. There are technically six paints you can buy right now, but the Tiburon version that has a shark mouth on it is concierge only. So just five paints for everyone else. It is a cool paint though. Next we have the Drake Vulture sale. The Vulture is finally on sale again and won't be limited anymore. It's fully flyable in 318 and is great for getting into salvage with. Once we get tractor beams and cutting devices in the future, then the ship will be even more useful. I made a video on the Vulture that you can take a look at yourselves. Vultures are great for salvaging ships and in the future will be great for removing space debris from cluttered space. The Vulture has gone up in price with a special war bond of $150 with LTI or $175 with store credit and 6 months insurance. There are also ship sale packs with the Vulture. One pack with a Vulture in Cutlass Black, one with a Freelancer, Prospector, Drake Mule, and then a giant pack with all flyable Drake ships together. It's only missing the Pirate Caterpillar skin version. The Vulture is also releasing three new paints. A gray and red Longhorn paint, the gray and white Carbonide paint, and a red and white Assembly paint. Very nice colors, I think. 
Finally, keep an eye out next week for the Stella Fortuna sale, which should be out around March 15th or so. You can get special limited edition emerald ships, like the Green Phoenix Emerald or the Ursa Rover Fortuna, as well as lots of green paints for other ships. There are green paints for the Vulture, the Cutlass, and a few other ships. There will also be contests to win ships as well. Alright, so that's the latest news for March 2023. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You can use my referral code if you decide to jump into Star Citizen and you'll get 5,000 extra in-game credits. Here's a big thank you to my current patrons. I have a Patreon going for $3 a month. All patrons will have their names listed at the end of my videos and get first pick on the next item I will cover. So feel free to sign up and let me know what you'd like to see next. Okay, catch you all next time.